Grade here with a KV3 replay. Today it's on port. I am platooned up with uh, two fellow OTGers. We've got Buzz in his KV3 and Args in his T29. Now here we're pausing just to see what the rest of our team is going to do before we commit to where we're going to go. Um, if I were playing by myself, I would go up to the B2 area unless I had a reason not to, and that's where we actually decided to end, uh, end up going with our tanks. Now this replay is a departure from uh, the previous replays that I've recorded so far. All of those have been what I thought were really great rounds for me. Um, I don't claim to be a great player, I just happen to have great rounds every now and, now and again. And this is more of a middling uh, match for me. It's not my worst, but it's not exceptional in any means. Uh, the reason I picked it was twofold. Uh, the first one being that it, it uh, shows some of the things that I try to do by second nature when driving tanks. And the second one is kind of a, a peeve that I have with portions of the World of Tanks player base. And you'll see what I mean when we get closer to the end of the match. Now Args is heading down the road there and for some reason every time I come over here I get lost in this area right here between these buildings. I mean to go down to that road but uh, I always take the turn you know a bit too soon and end up uh, showing up late. <laughs> but uh, I'm used to that you know uh, because when I drive my Matilda I'm late everywhere. So here's the first one that I have it uh, that I'm t that I try to do. I never try to go where my teammates are. Now, I know that sounds silly because we got the Comet and the M4 over there, but what I mean in this case is Ards has got his T29. Nice shot there. Uh, has got his T29 on the other side of this train. So I'm not going to go over by him. I'm going to come over here. So we're splitting the enemy fire. here we're pushing them back a bit. We're not paying attention to that AT2. Um, not sure why, but I think it's mainly because these were the threats. So now the Comet and the M4 don't want to go around the corner because of that enemy Comet. So I figure I've got the armor. I'll take the hit. I'll flush them out. I get a nice hit in there. He comes out. I try to ram him and miss, but our uh, our comet takes him out. Now the IS, the enemy IS, is uh, beating a retreat down to the building up there where there's only one entrance. Once uh, Buzz Args and I see that, we're we're having a discussion here about who should go in there, and I believe we eventually decide that Buzz is going to go in first since he's on full health, and that Args will back him up if needed. So I end up leaving them to take care of that IS and following the comet up here. Now I know that the comet, uh, once he go gets close to the uh, the Arties, because he's going Artie hunting, that uh, any tanks that are not committed to going to our uh, our spawn will return. Now here's where we notice that the Tiger is probably going to go for our spawn and start to cap. So Args is returning in his T29 and Buzz is coming down in his KV3 to help us cap. Here Buzz spots the Cromwell and I notice it on my minimap and back up to secure my flank and also make sure that he doesn't get past me down to our Comet, who is now getting into the cap. Misses his first shot, bounces his second, misses a third. I get a nice ram on him and then I take him out. Now, our Hummel has been yelling for us to cap quickly. And I just wanted to point out I'm going to pause here for a second. I just wanted to point out that our capture right now is 25 seconds ahead of the enemy capture. I believe there is a 10 to 15 second 
leeway at the end of a capture to see if the enemy team also captures and that's how we can end up with a draw. Now what my thinking here is, I know Buzz is behind me, he's going to get into the cap, I already know this. I know our comments down there racking up cap points and that KV-1 is obviously coming back for the comment. That means that my job here is not to get into the cap, my job is to get to that KV-1 to ensure he doesn't reset our comet. Now to do this, I'm not going to go down to where the Comet is. I'm actually going around to flank the KV-1 and catch him off guard from the side. And the reason I mention this is right there. The VK-3001 uh, is telling us, don't chase Cap. I'm not chasing. I'm here to secure it. Notice the KV-1 has reset the Comet. Now again, I don't go back, and it's not because I'm trying to chase kills or damage, it's because I see that uh, the marker for the Hellcat on the F6 area, and here the Hummel is telling us to cap. Again, now that we've secured it, we're going to win. Our cap is going to come out first. My job is to ensure that none of the enemy tanks that are coming back to reset cap actually do so. So I come around this corner, and I run into the VK-3601, who's going back to reset the cap. Now there, Buzz reset the cap on the Tiger. I do not penetrate on the shot. I have no idea how. And in one second, there. We've won the round, and only now does the Hellcat pop up. So that entire time, we had, we had won... And these people are complaining about what we're doing, even though we're communicating and we know what's going on. And time and again, I see that happen over and over. People complaining that the team is a noob, that the team is doing bad, and yet we're winning. Oh, it's so annoying. Anyway, normally this is where most people who do uh, World of Tank replays would go over the stats. Uh, you know what, when I'm watching the other people's replays, I get to the stats, you know, the, the fun part's already over. You can see how much damage I've got uh, from my hit log, you can see how many kills I've got, it's right there on the screen. Um, what I will do, however, for those interested in the stats, uh, I do upload all my replays to my new meter account, and I will put a link to that replay down below. Um, for those who, who do find that interesting. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this replay and uh, allowing me to vent a little. Have fun.